You are the sun and the moon and the stars. Heaven letter number 5921. February 9, 2017. You may feel like a small human being on Earth, such a tiny portion of the universe, minuscule really. You have no idea of your magnitude. Let me tell you that you take up the whole universe. There is you and there is I, one. We fill the whole universe. Another way to say this is that you, the individual you that you imagine you are, contain the whole universe within you. Even as this idea is beyond your vision, you are the universe entire, that is to say, you are the oneness of life. You don't inhabit the universe, you are the universe. The world is contained within you. This is hard to fathom, beyond your comprehension, so it seems. Your physical body is not integral to the universe. Rather, what is called your heart and mind, therein lies the universe. This is how magnificent you are. This gives you an idea of your magnitude. This is how it is when we are one. Beyond your understanding, we are one. You may not recognize this as yet. You almost certainly don't have a grasp on this yet. Regardless of your picture of the universe, this is the case. The world exists of you and me as one. When lights go on all over the universe, you are the lights. You are this amazing circuitry. Without you, there would be no lights. That you are the light of the world is true right now. No matter how you may see yourself, as a scoundrel, as a rake, in poor shape, whatever, the world does not exist without you. The world exists because of your presence. The universe has its identity because of you. We are of one consciousness, you and I and all the fish in the sea by which I mean all the souls, are one. You have asked, what of all the other consciousnesses in the universe? I have answered, you and all these other imagined yet tangible perceived individuals are you. You might translate this as particles of you. You do not yet get this. You don't have to get this. Your understanding does not make this true or untrue. Your comprehension is beside the point. Does the sun exist? Yes, the sun exists. It exists in consciousness. If you see the sun, you are radiating it. Do you see the moon? You are the moon. You are the stars. The wholeness of heaven and earth are contained within you. This is the fiction, that all of creation is outside you. There is no outside. There is only within. Now, don't start asking detailed questions. This is reality, all this is presently beyond your ken. Where is creation? It is within you. There is no outside. Creation appears outside you. The bottom line is, there is no outside you. We as one are creating and recreating. No longer think that this is far-fetched. I don't rebate the clay from which creation came. This is how the dreamed of world creates itself again and again. Consciousness grows. Thus, the world changes. Only so long as you are asleep is the dream you dream real seeming. You are in a dream now in daylight, a dream from which you will awake. We will have jubilation. All your life is but a dream. You are a part of this mundane dream. The reality you will wake up to is beyond your present undertaking. Truly, you do get caught up in this dream. You call it life. Always, when you are asleep, you wake up. The world you wake up to is not the world as you perceived it before you fell asleep. The world, as you know it, has always been observed from one level of consciousness of which there are far greater. You are far greater than you grasp right now. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org